Hello everybody, it's Matt on a Wednesday night. Hope everyone is doing well. I wanted to uh, do a, sort of an unboxing video, though technically I already got this in the mail and took it out of the box. So uh, it is, um, show you this first, it's the Jam English group. It was around from uh, what, about 76 to 1982. One of my favorite bands of all time, probably my third favorite band of all time. Showing you this, this is an old, uh, I got this way back in the 80s. This is a 1979 album of theirs. They were on Polydor in America. Uh, I guess in England too, I'm not sure what label they were over there. And uh, just showing you that, you'll see why in just a second. Uh, here's some of my old records of theirs uh, that I've had for forever. But I saw this, uh, I don't know, a year or so ago and have wanted to get it ever since. Not sure how long, how well that's going to show up because the lighting in here is a little bright up above and not great. It is the jam, the uh, studio recordings, uh, box set. The back is black as well, except for that arrow going up. Uh, you can see the albums in there. The band had uh, six studio albums that they released while they were together. And it's kind of funny because since they've broken up, there's been, I'm not sure of the count, but there's been way more than six kind of greatest hits, compilations, B-side, rarities, albums. So there's more greatest hits albums than there are actual albums that they released during their time together. Anyway, I wanted this box set for a long time and uh, kind of saved up to get it. It's a little bit expensive. It was on Amazon UK because this was released in England. I don't think it was released in America. And... Uh, Saw it on Amazon UK and the price was in pounds and I, right before I ordered it, I thought, you know, let me check Amazon US just to see if it's on there and it was on there and it's like, it was like, I don't know, $30, $40 less. So I bought it through the American Amazon and saved a little bit of money. So great band and uh, kind of uh, never got the uh, attention they deserved in America for whatever reason. They didn't get any airplay or didn't have any hits and uh, the kind of bad timing on their part that they broke up in 82 kind of right as MTV was, uh, you know, I guess it started up the year before, but when it was getting up and going, they did get a little bit of play on MTV early on and then they broke up immediately after. So uh, not that they planned it that way, I don't think, but that's just how it happened. So uh, they're a contemporary of, you know, the Sex Pistols, the Clash, and Ramones, and the whole punk rock new wave thing. They're kind of a, a sort of punk rock sounding, sort of uh, more 60s influenced. Uh, Paul Weller is the guitar player and the guy that writes 99% of their songs. Uh, hugely influenced by The Who, The Small Faces, The Beatles, The Kinks bands like that and a lot of the uh, 60s and 70s soul music also. So we got the box set. It's a pretty heavy thing here. I am going to slide everything out. I'm glad to have it because I had all their albums at one time and I've still got quite a few of them but there's a couple of them that I haven't had in a long time. So this goes in order. I don't know what this was 77. This is their first album. It is just called The Jam in the City is the title. That was their first 45. And uh, so, yeah. And the reason I showed you the American album with the Polydor label, because I wanted to show you this. Uh, this one just has plain white sleeve. But uh, instead of the Polydor label, the uh, l label has that jam. How they spell their name there. And I'm going to show you each of these because they're each different. And some of them are really cool. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about these, and I'll say why in just a minute. Other, than I'm going to show them to you. This is their second album. This is the Modern World, and it was '77 also. So I guess this first one was '77. So I guess they put two albums out in '77. Anyway, this is the Modern World, their second album. There's the back cover, and inner sleeve actually has lyrics and some cartoon drawings there. Let's see what the label on this one uh, is. Is uh, Yeah, here's the label. Uh, it says the jam and there's a kind of a cartoon or a 
etching of each of the band members. They're a three-piece band, so um, their second album. Set that there. Here's their third album, classic album, All Mod Cons by The Jam. There's the front. There's the back with the Rickenbacker kind of floating in space and a snare drum down there and a bass guitar floating in space there. It's as if the band are there, but they turned invisible, I guess. Uh, this is 1978. And All Mod Cons, in case you're wondering, stands for All Modern Conveniences. That's what you'll see in apartment listings. Uh, and the fact that they were heavily influenced by the mod movement of the 60s, I guess. So sort of a play on words. So inner sleeve, you got lyrics, you got uh, some different jam buttons and patches and stickers there that picture the band. Uh, the uh, really love the label on this one. I uh, will show it to you here. And I hope the reflection that you can see that it's got the uh, target thing. Remember Keith Moon wearing the target T-shirt, and then you got it upside down. Really love that. So, uh, yeah, and that is their uh, yeah, 78 album. Great classic album. And we'll get to uh, why I'm not really talking about the content of these albums in just a second. Because we got, uh, just to show you the rest of what's in this this box set. Really glad to finally have this. Uh, their 1979 album, or offering, or album two, Setting Suns by The Jam. Nice cover there. Love the back picture here. That's the, uh, I guess, the ocean in England with the bulldog and a Union Jack beach chair. I don't know how often people in England go swimming in the ocean, but maybe so. I don't know if you can see. This is the inner sleeve. There's that dog again. I guess it's the same dog, and maybe that's Brighton Beach or something. Isn't that a place in England? Kind of like the boardwalk in New Jersey. And here's the other side of the sleeve. It's a... Uh, uh, soldiers uniform and some stuff and uh, the label is uh, really nice on this so you got uh, these guys doing running around doing whatever they're doing and here you got this uh, kind of British soldier on a horse or that's like the guy that uh, guards Buckingham Palace I guess or a soldier I'm not sure looks cool either way uh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Let me set this aside. I'll put that up here. Uh, we get their uh, 1980 album. My third favorite album of all time. I'll let you know. Sound effects by The Jam. Uh, of course, it's the jam, it's jam box set. There's the back cover. This is kind of interesting on the back cover here because... Here is my copy of sound effects that I bought back in uh, 1982. Front cover is the same, but the back cover has them standing on the banks of this pond with this cool old mansion house in the background. Back cover here has uh, the song titles and and a shot of the group down there. So. Um, and my original copy from that I bought back in 82, uh, you got a lyric sheet, and then you got that picture that's on the back of the new reissue album. This album from 82 is still playable, but it's not in the best shape because I played it to death back in the day. But anyway, so here's the reissue copy. We get the inner sleeve, and there we've got the picture of them standing on the lake by the house and uh, the uh, difference you don't have it here but on this one you have a poem by Shelley the old uh, Byron Purse Shelley English poet uh, Mary Shelley's sister the girl that wrote Frankenstein uh, Mary Shelley's brother and uh, then you've got lyrics with the picture there. Um, the um, label is sideways I know but I think it's right side up here. 
is uh, kind of cool, but not as cool as the albums that preceded it. So there is sound effects. Let me make sure I'm putting that in the right copy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Here's their final studio album. It came out in 1982. It is The Gift. And there's the back copy has a picture of the band and has the song listings inner sleeve you've got the lyrics pictures of the band and these are a couple of extra musicians that helped out and some credits and kind of a cool label sort of mirrors the front cover with jam now you have Two more albums that are exclusive to this box set and were not released separately. They are called Extras Special 77 to 82, Volume 1, and the same thing, Volume 2. They have, uh, I don't know if you can see that on the back, but it's probably not with that light, but there's a um, kind of a black on black superimpose of the group so this has uh, just some b-sides and singles that weren't on albums and they also released a couple of EPs that uh, came out around 80 that came out in 82 the uh, label is looks like that the other one has a blue label instead of a pink label so uh, yeah that kind of, uh, there's still some things that are not on here, some rarities and stuff, but uh, basically you get everything that the Jam ever released, with uh, the exception of they had a couple of live albums and some rarities, but otherwise you get everything. There you get a download card to download all the music here in. Um, real quick on my old albums. I said that those extras albums had B-sides and 45s that weren't on albums. They also have the stuff from these two EPs, Beat Surrender and Bitterest Pill I Ever Swallowed. Bitterest Pill I Ever Had to Swallow. So uh, those were released in 82, and so it collects all that stuff in one place, which is kind of nice. The other thing, wipe that off a little bit, you get this really cool book kinda like the books that came in the Beatles uh, mono and stereo vinyl box sets not as thick as that but you know the jam there's a shot of the band on the cover it's a nice heavy cardboard uh, that's my one complaint is that the record jackets are kinda that flimsy cardboard instead of the uh, instead of the heavy stock cord cardboard that I like on a record jacket but you got I'm not gonna go through the whole book but um, just, there's some uh, notes on each album in here. There's some really cool pictures of the band and um, real quick look through this and uh, yeah so great band one of my favorite bands that didn't get a lot of attention in America unfortunately and so there's not um, kind of a cult following here not hugely known which is a shame because their music is great. The reason I'm not talking about the content of the records right now is that, as you know, I'm doing the reviews of all the Kinks albums. I'm about to be done with that. I have two left to go till we get to their final release. And uh, I'm going to do switch and do reviews of the discography of a couple of other bands. One of those is, you guessed it, The Jam. So I'll talk about each album individually. And uh, there's another band I'm going to do, like I said, and I will kind of keep that a surprise and get to it later. Anyway, hope y'all are having a nice night, and we'll talk to you later.